Good afternoon, Saints families and Saintsmen. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for your cooperation thus far, holding your sons that may be experiencing some cold or flu-like symptoms home out of an abundance of caution. Uh, your efforts to do this have helped us avoid a virus. As you know, the virus did make its appearance on campus. We did have two positive cases. And I sent an email out to everybody letting you know and shortly after, there was quite a bit of panic and confusion. And uh, to be expected, as this is the first time we've gone through this as a school community, but I wanna clarify a bit of a process for you so you understand, because undoubtedly there will be another case. Uh, as soon as we find out that a student has been exposed to COVID or tested positive for COVID, we make contact with the County Health Department. In doing so, they review with us what our protocols and protections are here on campus, and we review with them the particulars we know about the cases that have come to campus. In that process, they then guide us to help us identify who are the people that are deemed close contacts that need to be uh, connected with so that they can seek either medical testing or pursue quarantining. A lot of you telephoned us and emailed us. We were inundated with messages trying to figure out, was I one of those close contacts? Many through rumor mill wanted to know who were the persons that were contracted, who contracted the virus. And as you know, privacy laws prohibit us from sharing any of that information. But what I do wanna share with you is we are committed to work with the county and identify close contacts. And if your family has been identified as one, on the same day we send out notification that there is a COVID con, uh, issue on campus, you would receive a close contact email so that you can pursue either testing or quarantining. We want to keep the campus safe. We're prohibited from sharing too much information with you, but we do want you to know if you are one of the affected parties, you will most certainly be hearing either from us or from the County of San Diego. As our first case has passed us, um, I feel pretty good. We were able to not see further spread of the disease on campus as a result of the two cases that we identified. So that's great news. It will continue to be great news if we can keep the campus safe. So please continue to conduct uh, positive or passive health tests each day if your son's experiencing fever, cough, headache, a new sense, a loss of his senses of taste and smell, or body aches, we'd love you to keep him home, consult your physician, and you can call us. We'll guide you through the steps if you need additional help. We thank you again for uh, what has obviously been challenging for all of us, being mindful of our kids' health, changing our transportation and travel patterns, disruptions to carpools and the like. But through it all, we've been able to provide the Saintsmen they returned to campus and it has been delightful to see their energy and enthusiasm. And I think for you at home, you're probably also hearing great stories about them being back on campus. If we work together, we all do our part. We continue to stay away from large gatherings, be mindful of what we're doing on our weekends and how that might affect campus life, conduct our daily health screenings. We together can keep campus safe. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for your participation and please continue to pray for St. Augustine High School, its students, and let's of course pray for a cessation of this virus. You have made us for yourself, O oh Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Have a great weekend, saints.